this is an integration question uh, given in the guise of a, a differential equation starting from number one we have v equals to four third pi r cubed we have to find the derivative so therefore dv by dr equals to four pi by three is a constant derivative of r cubed is three r squared three three cancel and it becomes four pi r squared question number b question number b it's this is given information this information is given we have to use the chain rule to find that expression for dr by dt okay so dr by dt equals to given information dv by dt multiplied by what so we need to cancel dv so dv dv cancels and we need dr as the answer so dr by dv the derivative look at the previous sum look at the previous sum what you did it's the same so dv by dt is 1000 divided by 2t plus 1 whole squared multiply dr by dv now we found dv by dr in the previous sum so this is the reciprocal so this would be 1 by 4 pi r squared done question number c question number c we have two values v equals to 0 and v t equals to 0 okay fine this is the c1 rule for solving a differential equation where you have a plus c and you have to find the plus c so dv by dt equals to this this is the differential equation and we have to solve this differential equation to solve this is to separate all the dv terms with dv and all the dt terms with dt remember the constant will be on the right hand side so dv there's nothing of v here all t and constant so it will be on one side and the other one would be 1000 would be here on the right hand side constant all the always on the right hand side and 2t plus 1 whole squared would go with dt so we are multiplying this dt here so integrate integrate now integrate dv is v because there is a 1 here integration of 1 is that and this integration is not going to be ln remember there is a whole square so ln for ln you need a linear so this would be 2t plus 1 to the power minus 2 dt and the integral let me do it in a straight line 1000 this would be 2t plus 1 to the power minus 1 plus 1 is minus 1 divided by minus 1 into there is a chain rule reciprocal 1 by d by dt of the expression is 2 plus c the constant so this is v if I simplify this this 2 and this 1000 cancels as 500 this minus comes here minus 500 and here we can write 2t plus 1 plus c v so we found the expression now remember they gave v equals to 0 t equals to 0 to find the particular general solution whenever you have a constant it's called a general solution v equals to 0 t equals to 0 0 equals to minus 500 divided by 1 plus c therefore c equals to 500 therefore v equals to minus 500 by 2t plus 1 plus 500 done question number d d1 they're asking find when t equals to 5 so for this these two sums t equals to 5 for t equals to find find the radius okay for finding the radius we need a formula where we have only radius and it is this one v equals to 4 third pi r cube for that we need the volume so take the help of the previous sum so in the previous sum we found volume equals to this so t equals to 5 we can find v equals to minus 500 divided by 2 5 is a 10 plus 1 plus 500 so let me plug in the calculator okay I got 454.454.54 that's very strange okay it looks interesting pattern let's find so v equals to 4 third pi r cubed v is 454.54 if I put the 3 on the other side into 3 if I send 4 pi downstairs 4 pi equals to r cubed therefore r equals to let me calculate this the answer is 4.77 okay the next one is we have to find the value of the rate of increase rate means dt so dr by dt we know t equals to 5 we know r equals to 4.77 so we have this expression that we found before here dr by dt so put the value of t equals to 5 put equals to r equals to 4.77 it will be done 
let me do it here <coughs> at t equals to this is number 2 d2 t equals to 5 r equals to 4.77 I hope we don't get a rounding error because we are taking just 4.77 uh, dr by dt is equals to 1000 divided by 2t 2 5 is a 10 plus 1 whole squared multiply by 1 by 4 pi r squared r squared is going to be 4.77 whole squared equals to let me calculate 1000 divided by 5 to the 10 10 plus 1 11 11 whole square is 121 121 it is 8.26 this is the value now multiply by 1 by this so let me first write 8.26 so let me do it here into 1 by 4 pi r square 4 into pi into 4.77 whole square bracket close we get point zero two eight nine point zero two eight nine does it match standard form nine point two point nine so it would be two point nine into ten to the power if we take this point here uh, backwards two decimal places it would be minus two so this is correct and the unit is centimeter per second because this is centimeter and time is second so this is centimeter per second done the mark scheme this is the derivative this is the chain rule this is correct then this is the integration c equals to 500 a1 we have to mention that then we have the t equals to 5 r equals to 4.77 and we have this value the fact that this question had so many parts with a good degree of independence with did enable the majority of candidates to do quite well all but the weakest all but the weakest means there were some people who couldn't do this sum so the weakest and the first three were gained by most the derivative people could do it the integration in part c did cause problems did cause problems so what they were saying some people couldn't do this this type of integration this is i think the mistake was they did ln that's a common mistake this is not ln this is a algebra integration Many candidates were able to gain the method mark in part DNA. Even if you're unable to do some part, you can do the other part and get marks. Remember that. 